Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today's question comes from our Soulful Shift Kickers group on Facebook. Today's question is how to make aligned choices. How do you make choices that are in alignment with your energy, with your essence, your goals, and your beliefs? So this I think is a really great question because um, we're constantly making choices every 10 seconds, right? So how do you know you're making the right choice? So rule number one is make the choice <laughs> whether or not it's you know curious or you don't know or you do know make the choice because in 10 seconds you'll be given another opportunity to make a different choice so don't be stuck not making any choices because you don't know you're making the right one or not okay that will completely block you up it's like energetic constipation you will go nowhere you will move nowhere forward um, you will constantly be in this I don't know energy of indecision and lack of clarity so rule number one make the choice if it's not the right choice then you get to counteract it or you get to make another one and do something different or make something that is in more alignment so <clears throat> when you are presented with a choice and you want to really tap in the idea behind it is number one anything that's in alignment feels good there is a joyful uplifting high vibration like up here and it feels good it makes you feel good it might even make you laugh it might make you sing or dance or just you know that giddy childlike energy so that is an alignment energy when you have that happening like you know when you get a phone call and it's wonderful news and you get off the phone and you're like yes that's alignment that's aligned energy so you're going to keep that up here so when you are not in alignment <clears throat> so here's your your high vibration when you're not in alignment and you're down here this is all the ego fear doubt lack i don't know everything that's down here as you can see these two are not on the same plane right they're completely opposites so the thing about being in alignment is you want to be up here. This is where your essence energy is. It is not ever, ever coming down here to meet you where you are. No, it's staying up here. So the only thing that you can control is this energy down here. And this energy <clears throat> of alignment, excuse me, goes up and down all the time. But if you want to get into alignment, you have to raise your energy and vibration to that level because it's not going to come down to you so how do you do that well you got to get out of your head right you have to clear all of the negativity the doubt the lack of confidence everything that keeps you down here so when you're presented with a choice you want to make sure that you're feeling good about it that that choice feels good and then you want to tune in to what that choice might feel like so if you're tuning in and you're like, hmm, if I make this choice, what does that feel like? If it feels heavy or dense, right, that's down here. So if it feels heavy, we'll, we'll just stay with the same hands. Then that's the ego, and that's down here. Heavy and dense, that means there's some fear trapped in there. There might even be some resistance. If it feels light and joyful and expanded, then that's your energy up here. So a light joyful expansion would be in alignment whereas a heavy energy would not be it would be um, a little bit of a fear or a doubt or a hesitation or a constriction that would be like you know your your energetic sign for you vibrant sensitives that say no don't go <laughs> um, <clears throat> anytime that you are presented with a choice you can also look into the future of those choices. What would that choice look like for me in six months? What would that choice look like for me or feel actually is what um, I'm hearing. What would it feel like to me uh, in six months if I made that decision now? What would it feel like in three years? What would it feel like in 30 years? And you do the light and heavy. Does it feel light in six months? Does it feel light in three years? And so on. So you want to um, <clears throat> tune in to that energetic feeling of that vibration using kind of like this guide high vibrations joy and happy ego vibrations lack fear and doubt um, <clears throat> the second piece is you can actually talk yourself out of an aligned choice or decision okay so 
here you are, you're making this choice, you're sitting down, you're getting information and it's like, boom, you get this first hit. Yes, go and do it. And you can actually feel like that energy came in, like, woo, it felt good. And then all of a sudden you just went, boom, and you pulled it right down because now you went into all of the ways I can't, it won't work, I don't know, I don't have enough money, I can't make it happen. And you took your vibration and that was up here at the moment when you got that hit and you just went <laughs> and now you're not in alignment. So you had an aligned inspirational thought at the moment and you completely pulled that energy down and off of it. So now you're down here going, well, now I don't know what to do because now you've muddled it up with all your negativity and fear. So you want to make sure that when you get those first intuitive hits, when you get that inspiration, that you capture it, you don't doubt it, you don't judge it. You have to go with the feeling. If it felt good when it came in and it got you a little excited about what the choice would bring to you, follow it. Follow that gut instinct. That is you receiving information from your upper joyful essence, sending it down to you and then giving you that info and then you going, yes, I get it, let's do it, instead of going uh, no and ending up down here. <clears throat> so just wanted to make sure I covered everything. So that is how you would make um, an aligned choice. When you are a vibrant sensitive, you're feeling everything as it is. You're feeling everything from the external outside world. And so when it comes to yourself and making aligned choices and moving into greater alignment, you're now being asked to start feeling what it feels like to be in alignment for yourself, not with the external world, but internally. So practice that light and heavy, see what it feels like, follow your intuitive instincts and don't talk yourself out of whatever comes your way. You are getting divine downloads, follow them, trust them and let them go make wonderful choices and be happy and prosperous. So we hope that was helpful. If so, leave us some comments below, let us know. And if you feel like this was helpful to you or would be for someone else, please feel free to share on your social networks. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.